Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Well, it's about half the time, but I do believe, uh, well, to quote Jim Ross, one of my favorite commentators of all time, business is just about to pick up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, JR. That's a horrible impression. But, um... To quote somebody probably from a movie or something or a show or something at some point, I don't remember exactly who, but somebody gonna get shot. I just remember Chris Rock saying that he was just like, he he made, he was making fun of like people who put Tupac and Biggie up there next to like pictures of Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and Jesus and all that. It's just like, it was like, like what, 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 what why? Why, why would you put them up there? Because, uh, I was going to say, could you imagine Grandma being like, yeah, there's Martin, there's Malcolm, and there's Pac. It's was like, uh, no. Stop that. you got three saints and two sinners. Well, yeah, he's just, well. Saints and saints. Uh, saints. As Chris Rock said, he's just like, he's like, people I heard someone say the other day, Biggie and Tupac were assassinated. They weren't assassinated. Them N-words got shot. <laughs> he's like, He's not wrong. Everyone wants to deify all that. And now it seems people aren't deifying Biggie and Tupac anymore. <clears throat> now they're deifying like Mac Miller, Lil Xan, Juice World. I, I don't know why we deify musicians. I don't even deify like the musicians that I like that are dead. I just still have massive respect for what they do. Well, I know for you, life. like Peter Steele's one that. Yeah, Peter Steele, Ronnie James Dio, mm-hmm. uh, Lenny. Lenny. I mean, they're... Uh, Freddie Mercury. Mm-hmm. Vinnie Paul. Dimebag Daryl. For me, I mean, those two are icons. And I think it sucks that all in all, you know, they're not here anymore, but, you know, don't deify them. Remember them for what they were, musicians. They are but men. Be Honestly, angels. Nay, we are but men. Rock, rock. Sorry. <laughs> we can't help ourselves. Much like we can't help ourselves on what's on what's going to happen in Steins Gate. Shit's about to hit the fan. Let's see who dies. <laughs> oh, were you fu- <laughs> You crunchy roll. I think they're faking it out like it's Moeka, but it could actually be the doctor lady because, like you said earlier, like she did give a weird look when she saw what's her face. Okay, it's back. Let's continue. I'm gonna include that in the edit just because it's funny timing. I don't care. I think, oh, I think it's doctor lady. Not the titty focus. Yep, I knew it. K6205. Karisu6205. She's a she's, Yeah, she's a clown. Braun! Ooh! See, that's what makes me think it's not Moeka. So if he's not on their side this time, I think Moeko would have uh, blocked that like that. I don't think so. Thank you, Bron. Yeah, I don't think he's with the rounders in this timeline. I don't think so either. やっぱ行方不明の間に何かあったんかな。かもな。タイムマシンの研究を進めた俺たちを補足し、襲撃してきた組織。世界線が変わっても、おそらくはセルンの秋葉原での母数は天の地。敵ならば俺たちを助ける
死ぬどうした悪い少し休むいや今日みたいなことまたあるんかなそうならないようこれから考えるしかないどこ行ってんのよ教授は You see, I think he might be behind it too. And that's it. Mm. Oh shit. Spy cameras. Mm. まあまあそこにオカリンが頼まれてるでいろいろ僕が魔改造した結果そうなったってかルカ兄さんも疲れてるだろ寝た方がいいセキュリティは問題ないそうだから安心していいよママ行っちゃいるんだよ鈴葉さんはどうして岡部さんのことオカリンおじさんって呼ぶんですか僕のことルカ兄さんって呼ぶんですかさっきママって言ってましたよねでも、寝つく前別の名前を一度だけ言っていたんです。マユリママって。いや。それって知らない方がいい。そうやって、また僕だけ会話の外なんですかだけ話さない理由。なんとなくわかる気がするんだ。理由ルカ兄さんにだけは、純粋にこの世界の人間でいてほしい。多分、救いなんだ。Mm. It's like that answer just gives more questions, pretty much. It's like, what? Well, ignorance is bliss, and Ocarine. Except when it's not. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> ストレートも。エフビートに呼んだ方がいいですか昨日俺たちを襲ったライダースーツの女。我は Boom. Oh no! Yeah. What? Yeah. That's what entered my head. How does that make any sense, though? I don't know. So maybe this organization that broke in with the guns aren't bad guys. Maybe. I mean, they didn't kill anyone. Like the rounders did. I'm intrigued more now than ever. Hmm. <laughs> きのう狙われた女性を守ってほしい聞かなかったことにしてやろうだめだもしまた昨日のようなことがあったら娘さんはどうなるまた危険にさらされるかもしれない。デメリットしかねえじゃねえか。そんなことないよ。出せるものはある
Who named Amadeus? Oh, shit. shit. Someone's walking her. Oh, shit, not again. Numbers that time. Oh no, everyone's gone. What's the date? Karisu. Karisu! Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Mm. Honestly, like, there was some mind blowing stuff in the first Steins Gate, but, like, this one is doing a better job of, like, being unpredictable and just having some, like, real, like, <laughs> like, out the back of your brain moments. Yeah, so, exactly. Like, it's what I'm feeling. I'm just like, what is going on? <laughs> Like, I just, there's so much going on, and I'm just like, I'm trying to connect the pieces in my head, and right when I think I've finally got a bead on it, all of a sudden, it's just like, nope. <laughs> Good try. Try again. Oh, My brain hurts. God, dude. Oh, if she's <sighs> alive, then he just got sent back to the other timeline somehow. Yeah. He has no idea why. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know why. Damn. Uh, At least he has her to help him figure out why, maybe. Maybe, and maybe she can help him figure out how to send information back to the other timeline. I don't know. I mean, there's, oh, God, dude, the possibilities. Uh, my brain. My brain was already under stress from the first season of this. Now this is just like come along and like, <laughs> oh, that was one. I, stick I think of that's why here's Dodo the danced around my question too. By the way, huh? whenever I was like, so here's my predict prediction for what the timeline at Steins Gate looks like, and I was just like showing him, you know, I was like, so you got this timeline, it splits off here towards the beginning into this one, and then like. There's a whole bunch of stuff that goes on with him looping back around inside that one mm -hmm. until he finally figures out how to start going backwards. He backtracks and ends up back at the beginning where he was at before it changed timelines. And then we go on a little bit from there, and then we have a video that comes from the future that hits him on one split, and that takes him to the good ending, basically. But in the other split, we have him going pretty much into the future and going up to that point in the timeline that he sends that video back to get to himself to the good ending. And I was showing his dodo and I was like, so does this seem about accurate? And he was kind of like, <laughs> just like sort of dancing around the question. And I'm like, probably because there's a whole lot more to that timeline that goes off into the future. <laughs> like, yeah. Cause now he's split off from that timeline into another timeline from that direction, like back into the other one. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, don't know. I can't even follow this anymore. <laughs> Me neither. I'm, I'm what? Wait, wait, hang on. What if the place he just popped back into this timeline is right after he left before? After they kissed and stuff. 
I get the feeling that that would be interesting. I get the feeling <laughs> that this is December in the timeline where he didn't or where he left. It's months and months later and for her Plus we never found out what happened to an iteration of Okabe that sent his memories to another. Because my personal head canon is like one of two things either he's like and he's just like it didn't work it didn't work but actually it did you know kind of mm-hmm. like the um spoilers if you haven't played it you need to play it it's a fantastic fucking game but uh it's a concept that gets introduced in um soma where it's like there's one version that's like it didn't fucking work and they're like yes it did it was just a copy of you that was sent you know it's like, don't worry, it worked. And, but the original is just like, what the fuck? It didn't work. Why am I still here, you know? Um, yeah, they, they play the with that. In option the, two the is like too. you literally do send your consciousness back through time and your current body just fucking goes catatonic. Mm. And so she could be very surprised to see him right now. She looks a little surprised. Yeah. She could be very surprised to see him right now if he's just literally been like in a coma in the hospital or dead for the past however many months. And then all of a sudden it's like, you're here. Yeah. Nice suit. But like, it may not be that. It may just be that he just popped back in the middle of things as well. And he's going to be right before the rounders breaking in to shoot my area again. Oh. Also, like how fucked would that be if it is later on? After he left and my Yuri still dead. got killed. You know? Yeah. Dude. That would suck. Yeah. So, like, she has to tell him that my has been dead for months in that case, if that's where he's at. And I don't know. I just have to find mm, out next episode, I guess. I guess so. I, 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 oh, the series is just... Oh, my God. Anywho... That's going to do it, everyone. Thank you all very much for tuning in. This was Steins Gate Zero, Episode 8. Or Episode 7, sorry. Uh, Eclipse of Vibronic Transition, Vibronic Transition. Jesus. These episode titles. This series is getting crazy this early into it. Like, I don't know, people were talking like Zero might not be quite as good, but so far it kind of seems like it's pretty damn crazy compared to the original. Yeah. <clears throat> It's still got a, quite a few episodes left to keep going with the shenanigans, too. Ah, uh, Jesus. Well, anyway, thank you all very much for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. See you later, everybody. Peace out.